Hi, this is Ryder, creator of the Bullet Journal, and today I wanted to answer one of the most common questions I get. Do you rewrite things every single day? Rewriting things, or transcription, is a key technique in the Bullet Journal method. From the outside looking in, this can seem like a great reason not to Bullet Journal. Rewriting things takes time, and who has the time to rewrite things when you could simply copy and paste? In order to answer the first question, let me explain why we rewrite things in the first place. We rewrite things for a few reasons, but the one I want to focus on today is choice. Rewriting things does take time. It's much easier and faster to type. But in bullet journaling, slowing down is a feature and not a bug. That bit of friction caused by having to rewrite a task by hand helps us pause before we proceed. It gives us just enough time to ask a really important question. Is this task or responsibility even worth the effort it will take to rewrite? We have to make a choice. If the answer is yes, then this choice provided you with an opportunity to recommit to your task or responsibility. This means that you had to think about why it's important and remains meaningful, and that awareness can be really motivating. If, on the other hand, the answer is no, if something is not important enough to warrant the few seconds it takes to rewrite it, then chances are it's not adding a lot of value to your life, which means that it's probably a distraction and that you can let it go. Now that we tackled why we rewrite things, the next question becomes when. In Bujo, we practice monthly migration. It's where we review all our daily logs for open tasks and choose which get to remain part of our lives and which ones we leave behind. You see, this process of rewriting things is not about adding things to our list. It's about filtering things out. It's a process that focuses on subtraction, not addition. Sure, we invest a little bit more time up front to prevent us from wasting a lot of time working on meaningless things down the line. For every meaningless task we let go of, we have more attention to invest in meaningful responsibilities. It creates this virtuous cycle, which brings us back to the original question. Do you rewrite things every day? The short answer is no. As helpful and powerful as migration is, I want to spend as little time rewriting things as possible. Many rewrite all their open tasks every day. That's been the singular reason why they stop bullet journaling. They simply don't have the time to rewrite all their open tasks every day. I too have found it to be unsustainable in the long term. This is especially true if you tend to be the kind of person who keeps really detailed lists. Keeping your practice sustainable is critical for it to work, as it gets much better with time. Instead of rewriting open tasks every day, I suggest taking time for daily reflection. Daily reflection happens twice a day in the morning and in the evening, or when you wake up and before you go to bed. It serves many functions. One of them is to keep you aware of open tasks. Looking through previous daily logs each morning and evening will remind you of what needs to be done without you having to rewrite them every day. This can save an enormous amount of time and prevent things from slipping through the cracks. The only thing that I migrate on a daily basis are priorities. Better said, a daily priority. During reflections, I sometimes find an open task that has now become urgent and important. Those are the only tasks that will migrate on a daily basis. I don't allow myself any more than three priorities because if everything is a priority, nothing's a priority. I found that by focusing on less, I consistently get way more done. Having one clear daily priority is also a great tool. Determining your daily priority in the morning can help you better structure your entire day. Undoubtedly, other things will come up but your priority can help keep you anchored. And that's really why we rewrite things, to keep us anchored. We can do this on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. It's a ritual we use to think about why we're doing what we're doing. And that takes time. Our notes are often just a first unrefined draft. Clarity takes time. Insight takes time and revisions. As author William Zisner once put it, rewriting is where the game is won or lost. Rewriting is the essence of writing. That's our time for today. If you found this helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for taking the time. See you in the next one.